Do I just start it? Yeah. Right, okay. Ready, yeah? Yeah. You start it? Yeah. Okay. Welcome back, everyone. Hope you're all well and I hope everything's going well for yourself. Uh, today, we are building some struts for the bandits on the ramp for Scott. This is our T32 ABP struts. Um, it's a straight bolt on process. And William is doing some more A pillars. More A pillars. More A pillars. How many done this week? Three sets. And then we're also, well, I'm going to be moving on to the orange van to get that rebuilt, get all of the inside done. Do you want this one done? Give me the other one then. Basically, the orange van. Let me take this off. Half the floor of the caravel has been taken out, which means it's now lower. Obviously, with it being lower, part of it is added on this extra piece. However, it was only held on by a couple of bits, so I'm just going over it and making sure it's it's right before we send it out. Yeah, so. Well, we've had this for a couple of months, it's brilliant. So what it does is it melts the plastic so you can make a trowel into it and then you can add these staples in all different kinds of styles so that it bonds it together. Like very similar to what I've done here. So what you do is you add the staple in like this, nice and easy. And then once it's in, you've got to be really, really careful. If you hold it on too long, it will just go straight through. Leave it for a couple of seconds. And then that will then create the joint and hold it in place. So now we've done all the plastic welding on, on the back, I will be adding a little bit of hot glue in here just to make it extra rigid. But that is now, now solid, that's, that's fine, that's perfect. Yeah, I, I think, I do think that you should get Will putting some rings on. Like I really do. Prove his strength, you know, make sure that he... It's all mouth. <laughs> the rings are going on! <laughs> Boom. Done. You are? Do you, you can do it faster? Oh, I know I can do it faster. <laughs> what did Will do? What time? I don't know. We don't, don't know, know yet. So here I am just finishing up for the orange van, getting ready for its next part of the process. These bits here are going to have acrylic in here, so it's going to project the LED lights through the front of it and we're going to have a nice black acrylic design and then this will just sit nicely on top, just to uh, make everything look all snug and perfect. And at the back here we've got obviously the seat, the seat is on rollers, so as this seat comes back it butts up nicely to the whole of the install which I'll show you now. So as you can see it's all nicely profiled to the back of the seat so it butts up and it's all hidden just how plus should be. I've sat in something wet you know. I think I sat on step and it was wet, not nice. Got all of this as well, all these other little bits and pieces. It's like a jigsaw puzzle at this point. probably do it and then see if we do need it. We need to do this out of like three pieces. We need to do a solid back out of three mil uh, or six mil and then and then a 
a band and then we'll put the plush logo in, in the centre of the black acrylic. So I've just been talking to Luke and Beth and uh, Beth is on holiday for the next couple of weeks which is uh, it's going to be an interesting time for myself, I can't lie to you guys, because uh, I'm going to have to quickly learn a laser and that is not a quick process. <laughs> so we're going to be making some grills um, for the A pillars and all the transporters. We're also going to be doing some side piece of work there as well. Um, but we are also going to be finishing off the orange van we're in now. Uh, we're going to be finishing off the grills on the inserts for the, the back piece of our install. So very exciting times. So as you guys know from where we left off about a week ago, we are now back and we've been figuring out grills, sorting out different kind of uh, structures for the wooden side of things. And uh, yeah, I feel like we're getting on really well with it. It was definitely a learning curve for sure. The transporter sub box is nearly finished, which I'm very excited to see. So these bits here that I've just lasered out are just small little fillet pieces that are gonna stop the uh, light going outside of the box where we don't want it. Yeah, so this is to guide it back into the, where the shape is to give it more light within the, within the pattern. Moment of truth, it's uh I'd say so on the other side because you can probably see don't know if the camera will pick it up but there is just a little bit of light sneaking through just on the side there so we need to blank that out so it's nice and just like this one <laughs> okay so here we have the orange t6 yes we have a 10 inch down firing sub which we found works a lot better within our vehicles so the reason we did this design is so we could have the sub in the center because then it's more directly in the middle of the van we also have air ride on the left hand side behind this cage which is why we've got two so we've done an air ride behind one of them so it's got everything there at ease as well you can get the cage in and out for any issues or any changes that need to be made and we've also got audio on the right hand side which is all hidden again in the same method with the cage okay so we have the leds within the cages just for a little bit of an extra touch with the design pointing towards the center plaque as well um, here's the different colors they can do you can do all sorts of different things to what everyone's taste is Sort of inspiration from home cinemas, down firing subs, they just seem to be working well in, in other vehicles. Uh, just giving a, a deeper, sort of richer sound. It seems to hold the base a lot better when the boot's open as well, you don't lose it. This is the pattern we've decided to go with and uh, it follows all the way throughout the vehicle as well. And if you follow into the cabin I'll show you. So in here obviously we've got the big triple seat at the back that has the pattern again flowing all the way through the centre. It's been retrained by ourselves. Yeah, so we fitted the ABP suspension um, lift kit on this. We went for the original sort of slam kit because he wanted the van as low as possible. Having fitted the, the slam kit, it, it actually went too low for this vehicle. Um, we've never seen a conversion like it, um, but you can see here how much the original floor of the van has been taken away for, for this conversion, which literally bellied the cassette ramp on, on the floor so we, we just chose to go switch the kit back out and put the ABP lift kit back on it. I absolutely love the wheels and do you know what I wasn't too sure about the bronze matching but it really yeah, it works. Yeah worked, worked out well didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, so the Porsche brakes Darren from Woodhouse and Carmen helps out with the conversion he seems to be doing quite a lot of these so he was the, the go-to guy. 
So the, the client only wanted sort of the, the front end where we did the audio soundproofing so you can see what sort of difference this is unsoundproofed and then this has had the full treatment on the doors uh, paired um, with the mid base is hidden in the OEM location and our, our sort of what seems to be becoming quite popular and famous are our A pillars um, that hold the three way the three way setup. Um, so tweeter mid and mid base. We're really really happy with how this vehicle turned out. I think it looks amazing and I mean my favourite person that personal part is uh, the rear of it of course. But no really happy how it turned out and he's gonna come and collect it early next week. Can we go for a beer now? <laughs> <laughs>